A very good afternoon to everyone. Thank you all for joining this webinar on Digital Analog SPI Signal and iSystem Tools. I hope everyone is safe with your families. Thanks for joining us again. I'll quickly run through a small introduction about Trident Infosol. That is the company that is organizing this webinar today. Just to get started, Trident started its operation in the year 2000. So that's two decades of operations in embedded industries. We have operations in all the Tier 1 cities of India with a team of 200 plus. And today, we are known as a complete solution provider in the industry for both software as well as hardware products. These are the partial list of our clients. Again, this is a very small list. We have customers both in defense as well as private sector. We have three major business verticals that is COTS hardware, COTS software and system solutions. With these, we are serving various industries like automotive, aerospace, medical, industrial, and many more. I'll just walk you through on these groups. First being the COTS hardware group, which is specialized in selling single board computers, small ECU or LRUs for avionics, some IO cards, Ethernet cards, storage solutions. We also work on rugged laptops, computers, and tablets. These are some of the companies that Trident is partnered with. In the previous slide where you saw all those images, those solutions are provided by these companies. This is our next group, that is COD Software. This is the group that is organizing this webinar today. In this, you can see that we have a complete solution starting from requirements till testing. Just in a nutshell, at the leftmost corner are the companies which we are associated with. In the middle section, this is the products by those companies. And at the last part, that is the middle part, as we all know, this is the V curve, V cycle. So we move up with many companies like Dezo. It could be model on. At the system level, it could be both for modeling and simulation analysis. And when you talk about code implementation, we work with iSystem, the predominant partner who is doing this webinar with us today. Again, we have solutions on AutoSAR, HMI. When it comes to testing, we have some solutions on Hill Solutions as well. This is again a quick snapshot of all the partners we work with as a software group. Finally, this is the last group that is the systems group where we do all the in-house activities that is design, testing and manufacturing of all these products. Everything happens at Trident only. These are some of our labs. We have a complete test facility located in Bangalore. That comes to an end of my presentation. And you all can follow us on LinkedIn and YouTube as we conduct lots of webinars and technical sessions on a weekly basis. So you can always be updated with the latest technology. The speaker for today's session is Mr. Alice, who will be handling the webinar now. Hello, everybody. This is iSystem a webinar today about digital analog and spy signals and iSystem tools. It's about our add-on modules that you can plug into our 5700 platform. What can you do with it? What will it do for you? This is the topic of today's webinar. Today's webinar is done by Alesh Koshir. As an FAE, he has 20 years of experience, so he gives you some insight about these modules. Some housekeeping up front. Uh, you are muted, so it's not possible to ask questions just by uh, using the keyboard. The handout of this session is downloadable already uh, using the handouts rider in your uh, GoToWebinar menu. Uh, we will also record this webinar and post it and publish it on our iSystem webinar channel. At the end of the webinar, I will pick out a couple of questions and uh, ask Alesh to answer them right away. And the rest of the questions will be answered after the webinar by email. Okay, Alesh, let's go. Hello, welcome to today's webinar. After the webinar, you'll be able to oversee the potential and possibilities of, the, of an ADIO add-on module. You will be able to prepare a power measurement and the SPI analysis. You'll be able to generate digital and analog signals you'll be able to trace 
of ADIO signals together with embedded code profiling, and you'll be able to automate on operation of the ADI module. So what is today's agenda? Firstly, I will make short introduction of iSystem tools. Then I will concentrate on ADIO add-on module. I will explain what are the ADIO features and capabilities. Next, I will present some use cases like power measurement, pulse width modulation and SPI trace. In the end, I will present the means for automation. Let's start. iSystem tools are built around the IC5700 Blue Box on chip tool. The speciality is the extendability of debugger with several add-on modules. First on top left is an IDO add-on module. ADIO module is used for analyzing analog and digital IO signals and driving the outputs with the signals. Next on the picture is ScanLin add-on module used for network analyzing. We can analyze ScanLin buses and inject messages to the buses. ActiveProbe is special debug and trace connector for high, high bandwidth tracing and profiling of controllers such as Infineon Aurix and ARM Cortex via HSSSTP and so on. If more than one add-on module should be connected, the FNet hub expands the FNet ports from one to four pieces. At the back of the FNet hub is a special Ethernet port used for enabling synchronous debug and trace with two iSystem debuggers on two CPUs on different ECUs. The external devices are connecting to the IC5700 Blue Box over the FNet connectors. FNet is an iSystem proprietary bus system and communication protocol that provide fast communication between devices connected to the same network and enables fast communication between CPU and Blue Box, network analysis, synchronous debug and trace of multiple CPUs. On the left is a screenshot of the WinIDEA IDE. It has some advanced features to speed up debugging. The real power of WinIDEA can be found in its analyzer, a program and data trace visualization tool of a trace, code coverage and profiling measurement. It also supports real-time operating system awareness. iSystem can offer some advanced tool for timing analysis to cover arbitrary timing scenarios like AutoSAR event chains. Trace Analyzer can trace and profile signals on IOS, SPI, and CanLin messages with the use of the add-on modules. Here on the slide, you can see a picture of IC5700 Blue Box that is connected to the ADIO module. The IC5700 Blue Box on chip analyzer is connected to the target with a bug and optional with trace cable. The IOM6 ADIO module is simply attached to the free FNET port on IC5700 Blue Box. The WinIDEA IDE stores the configuration of the complete setup. The ADIO add-on module is part of IOM6 production line and extends the functionality of the IC5700 Blue Box. The ADIO contains four banks of configurable 8-bit digital I.O. channels. The input-output operating voltage range is configurable. Altogether are 32 digital I.O. channels, each of four banks can be configured as input or as output. The sampling rate is up to 100 MHz. Additionally, the ADIO has two analog 12-bit outputs and inputs. 
the voltage range voltage range for analog pins is from minus 5 to plus 5 volts. The input sampling rate is up to 12 MHz. ADO has special 10-pin power sense connector used for power measurement with optional iSystem power probe. The iSystem setup can capture and display analog and digital signals in parallel to the program code execution domain. A user can, with the use of iSystem tools, measure and visualize delays across the embedded software and external signal world. Next, you can, with the use of iSystem Power Probe, measure power consumption of a target ECU. If the SPI is connected to the digital inputs of the ADIO, the SPI communication could be recorded and analyzed. With the ADIO add-on module, you can output digital analog signals to control the target hardware. By using VinIDEA FNET counter and trigger feature, is it possible to generate trigger signals for measurement equipment, such as an oscilloscope, or to control the target hardware. The VinIDEA counter feature can be used for generation of periodical output signals. The iSystem tool can be used for testing and can be fully automated by the using Python API. iSystem FNET communication network consists of devices that are connected to the FNET nodes with the iSystem FNET cables. You can add up to four external FNET devices, such as ADIO, to the system around the IC5700 blue box. The configuration in WinIDEA is flexible and you can reuse stored configuration of FNET devices or create new one. The default name for the ADIO configuration is ADIO, but you can use naming of the configured devices across the system as it suits to, your, to the best for your use case. The system recognizes currently connected FNET devices after pressing refresh button. After configuration is prepared, the Y represents recognized devices with match stored configuration. At the bottom of the configuration window, you can see the populated available networks. There are two match configuration on this slide for the CAN LIN and ADIO model, with the populated networks for the CAN LIN digital I.O. and SPI networks. Also on the list are triggers TC and counter 1. The FNET counters are four independent 32-bit counters that support the FNET operation. They use for the counting time or events. The FNET counters can generate FNET triggers and can be observed in profiler timeline. Here you can see an example of digital I.O. port configuration. <clears throat> the name of digital I.O. network, I.O. signal names could be changed. You can configure the digital I.O. bank of 8-bit pin direction to operate as input or as output. You have a possibility to select the voltage range of the digital I.O. bank from 1.8 volts to up to 5 volts. Also, the initial state of outputs can be set. Every port display can be disabled or enabled. Likewise, the analog inputs and outputs could be configured. You can change the names of analog input and output networks. Names of analog signals can be changed. Also, the initial state of the outputs can be set. The analog inputs could be multiplied if the input, inputs are divided. Every pin can have display enabled or disabled. Also, a power measurement with a power probe can be configured. In that case, both analog inputs are used only for the power measurement. 
after the change after the changes are stored and downloaded is performed, you will be able to access and use configured ADIO features. With the next slide, the power measurement feature will be presented. iSystem provides power probe featuring a shunt resistor and different connection possibilities for connecting an ECU. With this, it's quick and easy measuring power consumption on, the, on an ECU. The iSystem power probe is provided together with a ribbon cable that connects the power probe signals together with the ADIO PowerSense connector. A, cu a customer needs only to supply electrical cable providing the electricity from the electrical source. The image on the left explains how the power consumption can be measured with two analog inputs in respect to the ADIO. When measuring power, it is necessary that both the voltage and current are measured in the same time. A shunt is a low value resistor connected in series to the load. The current through the shunt is measured by measuring the voltage drop on the shunt resistor and the power is then calculated with the presented formula. The ribbon connector connects all the signals from the power probe directly all together to the ADO power sense connector. So no need for additional wire connection for the measuring power are needed. Several shunt resistor values are supported according to the current value. The maximum current could be up to 2.5 amperes. Also, the input voltage range is selectable up to maximum 20 volts. The win idea later displays a current power value in the hill monitor. Win idea hill monitor enables you to measure and try ADIO analog and di digital IO pins. You can click with the mouse on the selected output voltage and select a new value. As it has been presented with power measurement slides, the hill monitor also displays the current power measurement value. It's possible to read and modify ADIO pins with the use of iSystem Connect and iSystem FNIT API as well. On the right, it is displayed a short Python script. The iSystem Connect API is used to write and to read digital and analog I.O. Pin output pins on the ADIO. With the script, we can automate the ADIO operation. Using WinIDEA watch window is another option to display the values of the ADIO pins. The watch window can be configured for real-time access. Also, the ADIO output pins can be modified with the use of the watch window. For profiling of target signals, you need to configure the analyzer by adding network area in profiler settings. You can select among the available ADIO networks that are configured, configured and enabled for profiling recording. You need to prepare FNIT and network configuration for needed ADIO signals before you can configure the analyzer for recording network messages. ADIO networks will become available for selection once the configuration is complete and applied by performing a download. Also additional program, data, and OS objects could be selected for profiling together with the ADIO network objects. After the analyzer recording is finished, we can analyze the profiler timeline with the network objects. There are ADIO signal capture along with the data and program recordings, if enabled. Later, we can use iSystem inspectors in order to perform different analyses 
for instance, propagation delays and event chain analysis. Triggers are an FNIT module that is used to transport information of observed events on the FNIT networks beside other sources of events. The IC5000 blue box can react to observed events by creating an action. For instance, an event on the ADO input can trigger generation of the signal on the output. Number of the generated trigger events can be monitored in Hill Monitor, as well recorded triggers and actions can be observed in Profiler timeline. WinIDEA provides up to 10 trigger channels. Three of them are predefined. Trace trigger is used to signal the trigger in the trace analyzer. Run sync and stop sync triggers are used when, the, when two IC5700 blue boxes are configured for synchronized debugging. Other seven triggers from TC4 to TC10 are available for the user. In this example, change of two ADO inputs is used to trigger a generation of a signal on the output. This slide describes the use of FNIT counters and triggers for the generating two different pulse width modulation signals. The basic principle is that one of the counters counts the whole period when at the end it generates the trigger signal. The first, the first counter immediately restarts counting. Another counter counts the shorter period up to where the switch from the on to off or from off to on period of pulse width modulation occurs. The other counter remains stopped until the trigger from the first counter restarts its counting. Additionally, both triggers are used to drive signal on selected output ADIO digital pin. Since there are four FNIT counters available, you can generate two independent pulse width modulation signals. On this slide, you can see profiler timeline of generated pulse width modulation signals together with embedded code. Also, another digital signals and trigger events are presented. With the use of iSystem FNIT API, you can automate operation and configuration of counters, triggers, and operation of an ADIO module. The Serial Peripheral Interface, SPI, or SPI, is a synchronous serial communication interface specific specification used for the short distance communication, primarily in embedded systems. There are four SPI interface signals. Master input slave output, master output slave input, serial clock, and chip select or slave select signal. Information is transferred between master and slave on defined clock. Active state on chip select, low or height is, is selectable. An additional SPI protocol analyzer is available for easy monitoring of two SPI interfaces with, within the embedded system, either alone or in conjunction with the program execution. SPI protocol analyzer modules SPI1 and SPI2 are by default disabled because they consume digital I.O. banks. If SPI1 is enabled, it consumes digital I.O. bank 0, and if SPI2 is enabled, it consumes digital I.O. bank 2. The SPI protocol format is described by the, by the iSystem description and SPI message description file. The SPI communication protocol and message description files are, an X, are XML files, which must comply to XML schema. iSystem provides templates and documentation for these description files. You need to add an ADR SPI configuration window, a SPI protocol and message description file. 
This slide shows the SPI bus profiler timeline of a microchip digital to analog converter MCP4921. Since the control and data bits are displayed by, described by the SPI protocol and message format description file, the iSystem profiler can display values of the control and data bits in time. The value of data bits is displayed in float format. iSystem FNET API provides access to WinIDEA function, functions which control the FNET devices. This API is currently supported for C++ and Python. With the iSystem FNET API, you can automate generation of signals on ADIO output pins, readout of signals on ADIO pins, you can automate configuration and operation of SPI analysis and power measurement, as well as configuration and operation of FNIT counters and triggers. On iSystem web page is extensive documentation of iSystem Connect and iSystem FNIT API. You can find documentation of classes and controllers. There are also numerous example scripts. Links are provided on this slide. At the end, I would like to mention that you can find on iSystem webpage www.isystem.com additional help, documentation, and training on how to prepare test idea testing, on debugging win win idea, and on how to start tracing with the iSystem tools. Now I will finish my presentation. I will give back the word to the moderator.